Welcome back to Ixion. My name is Nilaus and I am your administrator aboard the Tycoon. We are taking you safely through this uh, perilous region and we will get you uh, all of the, all of you, all 2000 new uh, thought popsicles all the way safely to the next zone. And that will be in this episode, I promise. On top of that, I will promise you by the end of this episode, I will have five absolutely perfectly designed sectors in the Tycoon. There will not be a spot that can be optimized, according to my principles. And uh, that is a bold task, but um, I have designed these meticulously, and I'm going to put it in here, uh, in this one. And the they will just basically be, scan. we'll basically have room for everything we need. And then we can have the sixth one for all the things we forgot. Right? That's how it goes. So thank you very much for following along, and uh, your support is means the world to me for continuing this over Christmas. So thank you very much. Uh, here we have a very, very packed location. We are just sending out probes left and right, just finding whatever we can in here that's... Uh, uh, I want to track everything there is. Oh, uh, see, just as soon as there's something, you just send it out and we get it. We just want to get everything here. Now, I am uh, actually doing a, an overhaul here on this sector. This is my sector one. This is a space sector. I found out that I had I could put this over here, and then since we have this on um, the cryonic center buff here, cryonic center here, they work at double speed. Then I only need one of these uh, because they will be popping them open every 0.2 cycles. So that's five per cycle is uh, getting thawed. And then we can go over here. You can see all of these have to be moved one tile over because it wouldn't be a Nilo's Let's Play or a tutorial if I didn't have to move everything over. But it gives me three of medium batteries. Uh, it also, um, down here, that one will eventually be taken out in favor of something else. Uh, and then I'll take this up here and then replace this with two smaller batteries. Uh, this over here will be replaced by drone port, which is like another thing that we want to deal with. Over here on the uh, industry sector this is pretty much done we can see that the overlay of the sector we did have this issue with uh, this broken tile and I know some people were like oh but there's something in it yeah but you can't delete it if you can't delete it then you can't use it so um, there is a this is a broken tile and that's just the way it is so what I did was uh, I reconfigured the things that are positioned here so that we can, will now have a 8x8 here and that means the last tile won't be necessary but this is basically the completed industry sector. A probe has completed its scan. Four smelters, yes please. Two, uh, two, four steel smelters, two of the electronics factory and two of the polymer factory. I want to make them next to each other so we can see it. And then of course we have four big uh, medium batteries. We also put the tech lab in this one because, well, we have room for it. And then we have uh, some uh, human storage here and then scattered around we have a few more of the, the good ones. Uh, we also in this sector only have a single infirmary, but since this is industry, they do tend to have. Oh, I actually have two. Mm, that's uh, that one of these will have to go out once we have a hospital somewhere in uh, in in our in our big place. So uh, we'll have these, and then we'll have a hospital. And over here, we'll get a drone port in as well. Sector three, we're going to need to do some changes to this. Uh, that's going to be interesting in and of itself. Let me just have a look at what is going on here. Um, let's see, I am going to replace this part, which is going to be a little bit of a challenge, I can see that now. Because here I'll have a drone port, of course I will, and that means I will want to have a dedicated dock, dock sir, right here. And that's, I built that here, then I can't have this one and this one. Uh, we're going to need one for trash, we're going to need one for that, so I'm actually going to have to take one of these and just simply uh, empty it. Once this one is empty, then I'm going to make two small ones, one for trash and one for uh, one for alloys. We won't be needing to make very much alloys in this location, so it's just for the construction, initial construction, uh, we need it here. That's going to take a little bit of time to get. Once that is done, we can take you out. Uh, we will also need to get over here, Fusion Station. We are going to need to get all these upgrades. Why can we not get that? Augmented Building Protocol Workshop. Augmented Building Protocol. Let's get that one. All right, so we need to workshop upgrades before we can get Fusion Power upgrades. And that's the one we get. What is this actually getting us? Eh, makes repair 25% faster. Not valuable at all. At this moment, since we only have 3,400, I think we can make do with one less of these. 
and uh, not have them starving. I think that's good. So that's number three. Number six, I have built these extra uh, recyclers. They are here for one purpose and one purpose only. That purpose is the fact that once we have 10 of those, even if they're powered off, we get recycling level two, which is absolutely amazing. Recycling, uh, the particular the industry buildings work 30% faster is amazing. So that is why we want these, even if they are disabled. And then we'll just keep the rest of it here. I had to build an extra one because, uh, yeah, people got hurt. Uh, but that's, again, temporary. Here we'll have a drone port as well. We want drone port in every single location. And the final location is the newest location. We built that last time. We have two probe launchers. That will be evident later on why we have two probe launchers. We'll have the drone port here and we'll have the uh, hospital up here. And then we'll have the nuclear facilities at this location. Right now we don't really need nuclear and they take uh, quite a bit of uh, resources uh, to actually uh, support 60 uh, crew that is quite a lot so i'm going to be building these and just powering them off but it's going to also drain a lot of resources so once that's done uh, this suspiciously large location is for over here we have an exo fighting dome that we can research at a later date but that's going to be in a little bit of future now going back up, up over to the over map uh, we are going to go compete every time we find oh, oh. It has silicon. Ah, uh, small silicon here. Yeah, we'll just pop it. Now, we do have two more locations that we want to explore. So I will uh, Einstein my way to... Yeah, you'll take the one that's further away. And Bargerville, you are close, so you take the first one. So let's uh, have them come over here and then get uh, started on this. In the meantime, I will just uh, struggle with the movement of here. Everything slide it one tile over to the left. And let's see what Croc P43 has to offer for us. Our probes has discovered an unusual electromagnetic signal transmitting from beneath the surface of P43. The signal shares many similarities with the one our team identified at Rok Rokotansky uh, Comet in the Immortal system. This is the Bosheville crew. We have landed on P43. The electromagnetic signal seems to be transmitting from below the planet's surface. We only have a limited amount of time, ah, that's a hint, uh, to investigate before our suits and the Bosheville's hull are compromised by P43's corrosive atmosphere. Hui recommends uh, the use of demolition charges to accelerate the excavation process. I mean, I like that idea, but let's drill through the cro ah, quickly clear a path. We clear. We're going to be ah. This one is uh, this is bait. They say we're quickly, and this one says quickly. So limited time, quickly. We'll do the quickly one. That's going to be our option. We're still sending uh, the other one. Uh, that is the Einstein is heading all the way over to Croc P thirty seven. And this area around here is kind of not really very valuable anymore. We have a little bit of silicon here, but iron is... Uh, how much iron? We still have a little bit of iron here. Uh, I'm actually considering maybe it's time for us to sort of move on to another location. Okay. We could move it over to this location just gradually. If we wanted to move it in one fell swoop, that's 5.1. That's not good. So we'll do it in uh, different Less jumps because they can only do 3.6 is the lowest one. And that's for section section one so let's uh let's start moving over there slowly and uh, just go there that should be enough and we'll get a beautiful launch window and fly away and in the meantime over at croc p43 let's see if the demolition was a good idea the explosion, which was larger than expected, revealed a huge system of subterranean tunnels. Despite the rubble and instability of the area, the Bosheville's team identified a passageway leading to the anomaly. The journey downward was without incident. The anomaly is a large cave full of strange geological forms. Concentric circles are present on the walls, reaching from the floor to the ceiling and formed of many layers of different sediments. Crystal formations have grown everywhere. What is most astonishing, however, is the anomaly itself, a huge gray sphere about four meters in diameter floating at the center of the cave. <clears throat> All right, so we can examine the sphere, we can analyze the crystal information, or we can study the concentric circles. Uh, we cannot do all of it, and if we go here, then I think they, we, we've seen one of these that uh, ate all the equipment. So this one will probably kill all of them. We'll just be like, oh, they, we did, that disappeared. So we'll do some with the other one, and then we'll probably sacrifice them here. Yeah. Study the concentric circle. That seems pretty harmless. Let's do that. We'll go for the harmless option. And in the meantime, we are flying 
over towards one of these, which will give us some uh, issues with uh, with happiness. I mean, one a happiness that can't really be a problem. Oh, and the science ship one has arrived. In the meantime, this is the one we are working on. We're just shuffling things over. One thing I do not like, though, is this one. This is kind of bugging me, and I did not see that coming. This one has 800 and, uh, 784. That surprised me that it's 784. Um, yeah. I must have done some kind of a miscalculation here for uh, for this. Um, I don't understand how that is actually the case. Uh, if you look at it, this one is take oh, 112. I thought it was 118. Ooh, that's a problem. I thought it was 118, but it's 112. Okay, so that gets us just below 800. Now, I probably should just put 800 in and accept the fact that it's going to go over budget because it'll get them happy. This one is only going to get two happiness, but if I uh, don't have that yet, but if we get this one, we get plus one happiness when they reach 800. We don't have it yet, so it doesn't matter. Now we're doing ice preparation workers fusion station, this one. This is uh, going to get ooh, 15 ice to 48 plus 10%. That should give us to 52.8 and that is very close to the 54 that we need. So with this one done, then we can safely say that we have food for um, yeah, probably around 5.8 thousand. So no problem there. After this one is done, I think it's time for us to go for the health center or the drone bay. Drone bay is going to take a lot of resources, so is the health center. We'll take the health center because, well, people are dying left, right, and center. Well, they're not, but we don't want them to either. Let's see what we have here at Croc P31. Einstein is uh, arriving. Readings from P31 are unusual. The planet has a high level of radioactivity and its diameter and position in the Croc system seem to contradict theoretical models. Topographical analysis of the surface revealed the presence of a huge crater. We have landed on P37 in the crater and have named Desolation. The ground here seems to be made of glass-like substance, possibly obsidian, and the crater's rim is razor sharp. Telluric formations within the crater resemble waves frozen in time. We think we can pull some interesting data from the sediment analysis, or we could try to discover what's impacted here. I am leaning towards setting up a proper. The Einstein team will set up an infrastructure adapted to P31's environment. Despite being a time-consuming approach, the team will be able to anal analyze a large amount of data. Now this takes 50, but 50 is exactly what we don't mind taking, because uh, we can actually get 50 three on one of these Caution. i think that's the capacity uh, okay that's we know that we are entering the brief field here how are we entering the brief field it's really far away from that but it doesn't matter and uh, if we look at here uh, let's see which one it is it should be up here oh it's pandora look at that we are having issues we are not going to get it in here because uh, let's see so these two oops pandora you are doing that I'll take these out. So don't grab any more of these. How many do we actually have? We still have 1,100 out there. Oops. Well, that's going to take a while then, because uh, what we need to have happen at this point is... Let's see, can I deconstruct more than one? Yeah, we can deconstruct two. Um, we need to have to consume all of these so that more will come in. And probably this one is still unloading. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a lengthy endeavor. Luckily, we don't have to sit through everything. We can just fast forward through it. And with that, we actually have some uh, progress here on the research of the concentric circles, what they give us. A science ship team has completed a task. The concentric circles do not have a classical geological origin, a phenomenon unknown and external to the geological activity observed on P43 generated these strange formations. The circles are not perfect, but the distance between each layer is proportional to the diameter. Uh, atmos atomic analysis revealed the presence of particles characteristic of self-similar space. 44 science. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, we're going to do the analysis. The Boschville team will analyze various samples from the crystalline formation that have grown on the walls of the cave. We'll do that as well. Seems safe. And then we'll just keep scanning whatever we can out here. As soon as we uh, see some ping here, we'll take it. And uh, we have now landed at this location and wait for our science here or our batteries to fill up. It's going to be the ones in sector one that will be the ones filling up the slowest. 
and once we get that filled then we can sort of figure out if we want to we definitely want to fly to this one but i don't think that's i think that's out of the question 3.7 yeah we're gonna have to do it in two jumps then let's just jump here 2.2 go all power off All right, and as we progress the next part, we are actually going to continue flying. We're going to fly for three cycles, and we have now on sector one, one more battery is online, so we are up to 4.6 battery. That's perfect. And we're just going to fly here for three cycles. That's all good. <clears throat> wow, look at that trash we're flying through. All right, let's get the hell out of that place. And then let's have a look at Croc P43. Analysis reveals that these crystals were formed relatively recently. Their growth accelerated by the sphere the formations also contain elements we thought abs absent on p43 sensors indicate that the team suit and the Bashevel's hull will soon be compromised by the planet's atmosphere repatriation should be initiated with urgency All right i'll take the hint yeah, this is so tempting but we're gonna leave the planet and consume the 33 science good this one is getting its 50 oh my god what what is going on why are you flying in here with ah you're not on you didn't unload your yeah okay so that's a full load except it's not a full load of useful stuff damn it uh, in here we are working on the health center which is good and after the health center what else do we need i don't know uh oh that's actually a really good one but probably not super necessary but hey i i feel the bad that we don't take it what about here? That's more batteries. Yeah, there's more battery power. There's a lot of research. We have to be mindful of this is going to be the last research we get in this zone. So if there's anything else we need to get then in this zone, then we have to get it there. Caution. Entering debris field. That's fine. Here, this one is really struggling to uh, to empty. Uh, I am just desperately trying to get rid of this. If we look at our struggle here, it should be going here. It should be going here. So um, I don't know what uh, what more we can do than just yell at it and wait a bit. I think it's because there's so much in here to also wait that this is this is lower priority. But hey, as long as we see this one go down a bit, then it'll transfer over to that one. Cool. A science ship team has completed a task. Sounds good. We are ready to see what Croc P37 has to offer for us. P-37 was, until very recently, a gas giant. A nuclear reaction of immense magnitude dissipated the planet's gas and vitrified its former liquid core. This, core, this event caused P-37 to deviate from its natural orbit. There is no evidence of what is triggered by a there is no evidence that this was triggered by a collision with an asteroid or other celestial body. Our theories suggest it was caused by an external intervention. 72. That is amazing. And that's it. All right, so that is all the research we can get in this zone. And uh, what are we going to use it for? Well, we are going to go use it for completing the health center. That's 10. And then the drone bay, that is 81. And then on top of that, we um, we are going to get like the random spawn from uh, from here. This part here, this uh, five every three cycles. So we'll get the rest of it there. And that should be at least a good part of what we can get of research in this zone. If we look out here, we have lots and lots of resources to to get. Oh, wow, look at that one. We actually have, like, pure stuff here. Um, let's have a look at this. If we keep an eye on it, it's still 1,100. We definitely want to pick up every single one of these. Even if we're not opening them, we definitely want to pick them up. In here, we have now managed to remove these two. Well, not removed, but uh, almost. <clears throat> these are going to go away, and that means this allows us to now... Oh, what did we get? We got a population. Ah, the health center. Yay, that goes in number five. It's probably going to be really expensive to put in. We'll put it up here. That's going to... Ooh, nine. How much uh, is it going to take? 50? Do we have 50 uh, excess workers here? Not even close. Not even remotely close. How many do we have here? We can transfer 50 workers from... Sector 1 to Sector 5. And that should get us happy. Ooh, we are then also going to be overburdened. So let's also take some non-workers from Sector 5 to Sector... I guess it's back to Sector 1. There you go. Sounds good. And over on this sector, this is out. We can then make a space... Dock. Dock, sir. Oh yeah, this is interesting. It uh, isn't actually close here. 
And if we go to sector one, then we're going to be taking out the Mew, the Diogenes, and Diogenes, and Godzilla. I hope that it's the Godzilla one. Godzilla is the ice baby, ice, ice baby. And this one is then going to be a uh, whole lot of uh, another headache because now we need to transfer it over here. Uh, let's see, do we have in ice here? That's just maximum 110. Get all of it in here. So we need to empty this location, which is going to be a little bit tricky uh, before we even set up this one. Population transfer complete. And sector five, this is where we're building our health center. That is good. We have still plenty of uh, energy left. So that's good. And over on sector one, we are actually completing sector one now. Uh, we just glance at it if this section up here has to be taken out. And that should not be a problem. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be dis disabling this. And this one is also going to be disabled and be taken into trash. That means I can take the trash out here. And of course, we. I had to sort of desperately uh, reallocate one from here, so hopefully this will be used um, as fast as possible. Then we can take this out and put in this location, three plus one, that's four, plus four. That should be just enough for a drone bay once we get the drone bay uh, research, which is in progress. Great. So this is a stage of the game where it's easy to just rush on into the next sector and I think that it's well worth it to just spend some time and make sure that you have good stockpiles, you have uh, built up the things you want in your sectors, they look the way that you want them to look and uh, that also means like something as slowly as moving this away so that we can uh, get a new location here and uh, we have now he reclaimed this area we are also slowly 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 uh, getting all of this empty from the docking bay here we're just not bringing any more in because this has to go into uh, the ice has to go from the dock into the storage from the storage over to uh, this this sector here and this is why we don't have it here because this is the only place that consumes ice and i want to make sure that we empty the ice here so those are the kind of things that take quite a while to do uh, but I think it's well worth it. What I'm also going to do here is have all of the EVA on the top. That's why you can see this one is dwindling. Once this one hits zero, then I will be deconstructing this, deconstructing this, making a new dock down here, and making a new EVA airlock here. So that we have EVA airlocks on the top and then docks at the bottom. This one will be reconfigured to come in with more... Um, what are they called? They're called... Um... Yeah, uh, cryo cryopods. Yeah, human popsicles. That's the one. Uh, but we need to make sure that this uh, empties first. But you can see there is a golden sign here. That is because we now have something new and exciting. A drone port. Let's have a look at what it actually costs. You can have one drone port per location. It costs 85 plus 4 and 30 power and 10, uh, 10 resources. So that will start eating out uh, our resources here and we're going to build it in every location because i think it's a very good build so we'll get it in here in every single one and you can just go like wow what a coincidence that there just happens to be exactly a room for one of these in every single location yeah coincidence right we are probably also going to if you look at this probably need to switch one of these on but we'll do that once uh, once it gets going uh, they are working in a really interesting way that you can sort of scale it up to consume 8 per cycle or down here to 3 per cycle. And 3 per cycle will give us 75 power. Let's actually just switch it on. It, um... Hey, dude, there we go. 75 power. And, of course, it's 75 power minus the 20, and then you can sort of scale it up or down as you wish. But, hey, now we have it uh, in motion, and we have the first nuclear power plant uh, going. Oh, and we also have... Uh, another little problem. That problem is going to be solved with a policy. Let's solve the policy by giving them intense working hours. There we go. They're going to be liking the... What? Oh, okay. Good. good. It just needed to refresh. Woo, good stuff. Uh, this one just needs to get uh, emptied. And this one is empty. So we can actually just deconstruct you. And we now have drone ports in every single uh, sector that we have. That is brilliant. And you can see this sector is now complete. We can switch these on as we want to or need to. At the current moment, we are not accumulating any uh, waste. So there's no point in switching it on. 
we have our drone port here we're going to move on to oh, uh, we should start from this one drone port is uh, still working in uh, this location but we are also getting uh, our nuclear power plant and the only thing we have left that we can't build yet is the one we're researching the exodome but we'll get it eventually thanks to our five science per three turns great up here in sector one we have hey look at that it's completely empty now we need this one to completely empty and once it's empty it's going to be glorious we're building the eva is coming online this one will have to be emptied as well it'll just be emptied by itself slowly i hope uh, and then we'll start bringing more in from here because this one will also be changed to an eva airlock it's not necessary in this sector but having four eva airlocks uh, is very nice to have in uh, future sectors especially when we have hull repair is 10 percent or and 20 percent more efficient so that, uh, that's why we want all of the EVA airlocks in the same location together with four of these. And these four will now be doing silicon, uh, iron, carbon, and uh, human popsicles, which will also be nice here. So that, uh, that's, it's just, just a little uh, reshuffling here. Okay, we have three online. We are now back to stable situation. And we can use this one to sort of bring more in. But if we want to bring more in at this point, it just feels really weird that we're bringing in and we're not going to be emptying this. So I'm just going to let this one run down a bit before we start uh, getting stuff in from the other location. Uh, over here, uh, we also have the drone port here. This is now completely done. We cannot get make more uh, carbon or polymers because carbon, uh, well, is because everything is full. There's a giant storage here full and no one else really wants it for anything. Uh, and the last one is here. We built it in here in the middle and you can actually start requesting the ice now. Nope, not yet. Un not until this one is empty. When this is uh, reaching zero, then we know we can uh, start requesting ice in the new sector, but only then. And this one got rid of it. That means we can now build a good, oops, a normal dock here and it just squeezes in nicely this will be An for the end has occurred in the yeah. uh, on the world map well not much to do except just keep sending it out uh, one thing though is i have just been frantically scanning here there is nothing left for us to do nothing to scan so we just harvest what we feel like uh, if we look at it there's just plenty of stuff here nothing much there's a bit more for iron for mining um, but aside from this, we also have tons of stuff to pick up. But we can't pick up any polymers, and we probably can't pick up much in terms of silicon. And then the iron is the one we're going to continue with. So not the uh, big issue, but uh, we just have a little bit more time to sort of idle around here. And we have the new dock is ready here, and I will bring in. And this is where the Gutenade, the uh, Quicksilver, and from the last one. Oh, yeah, that's... An accident has um, the yeah, okay. We'll get those three in here. Mr. Gus. Uh, where is Gus? We'll get Gus. We'll get Quicksilver. Quicksilver? Quicksilver? Uh, you as well. And Quicksilver. Quicksilver, Quicksilver, Quicksilver there. And we'll just check that these are here, here, and there. Good, so they are now online. They will be bringing in that part. And for this location, I will now switch it to be popsicles. Then that should help empty this one of popsicles as fast as possible before we take the other one in here. And these will, the Pelican and Pandora, they will be then switched on to be popsicle enabled. And that's what we're gonna be doing now. Uh, Pandora and Pelican will be popsicle enabled and they'll then be going out now to find more. That should help us get rid of this one as fast as possible and that'll be really one of the last few things that we really want to do and we still want to get the exo fighting pit just because and get that sorted as well. And now the old dock for popsicles is being emptied and it is actually empty now. That's perfect. And now I can uh, switch this on because this one will bring new popsicles in. Now at this point, this is where we are going to make an EVA airlock, but it's not necessary for this sector. It's necessary for one of the future sectors where we will be taking more damage. So obviously we are going to need that. However, what is 
probably a good idea to do at this uh, section uh, is to just smash in two of these so that we can uh, unlock as much as possible uh, of the popsicles as fast as possible and that's definitely what we want to do so we build this temporary and then we overhaul it again but we the essence is still the same we have these four in here and you can see they're coming in hot and we're also going to get uh, this so once we have these two as well that's going to be uh, just fine as well and I think we're good to go. What about over in uh, this? No, this sector. We can now start getting uh, who are the two ice haulers? That is Diogenes and Mule. Okay. Mule, yes, and Diogenes. There we go. So they will be uh, going out and hauling some ice and getting it in here. And once that's done, well, they're not going to be bringing it in here. So, uh, but we have the water we need. And we're now getting the last little burst of science that we need for unlocking. And we get a new EXO fighting drone. Dome. Not drone, but dome. And over on stability, this is absolutely disgustingly good. It provides plus two stability in the sector and all other sector sectors connected by a train. So that means this is uh, two... Uh, yeah, two... Two stability in every sector because everything is connected by train. And of course we want things connected by train because we also want a hospital. Look at that, there's actually 30 people having fun in there. And over here we have the extra fighting dome that, well, it's gonna be 450 and nine. So it's gonna take a while to build, but that also means that we now complete this zone. So that is uh, very, very close to having every single zone completed. Uh, we just need a little bit more of uh, this one and we can start on locking these uh, average balance that's interesting here sector station 7.2 per five cycles interesting huh and we are now finally ready to do the vault vol jump and uh, we can see here we have claimed every single one of the cryopods in the sector there's of course still a lot of other materials that we could get but hey we don't need it and before we just click that magic button uh, from which there is no turning back let's just uh, take a little tour around our base because at the start of this uh, episode i promised you five perfectly organized sectors and i i mean i dare you to disagree uh, so if you disagree then let me know in the comment sections if you agree let me know in the comment section i am super happy about this so this one is the hydrogen Coming in and going into our nuclear power plants, I'd have two nuclear power plants running at half speed, even though they take a lot of power of, of crew. But that uh, feels better because when one of them shuts down, we don't get the complete shutdown. We have the new EXO fighting dome, and that means we are running at plus five happiness in these sectors. Pretty damn nice. Uh, also, everyone has at least five, uh, five turns of batteries. That's amazing. Moving forward here to the next one, this is a recycling sector. We have everything we'd want, 10 recycling, so we get to mark two recycling. And every one of these uh, sectors can also uh, have at least 800 crew because we do have this one giving plus three when it's 800 crew. So that is also nice. Back here in number one, this is my space sector. And we are then uh, building the last uh, EVA airlock. We don't need to turn it on, but we'll have it for future sections when we need four of these and they will now work at plus 20 or maybe plus 30 efficiency because of the way it works sector two is our industry sector for steel smelters to electronics factories and to polymer factories also again more than 800 stored here we also have our tech lab that's just churning as uh, as it progresses here in the last one, this is our food production, prudent enough for 6,000 people. We've moved our uh, dock for for ice in here so that that feeds directly into this one. And this one can pretty much support all we, uh, all we need. It says it's now 48 every 0.9 cycles. It should be enough to get us exactly what we need. And we are now uh, producing food here for everything we want in the sector. And then that's it. We have now built everything we want. We have uh, completely ready. And all we need to do is click the magic button and then we'll get ready for what the cliffhanger for the next uh, scene, next episode. Hope you want to follow along. ships must return to the tycoon before volt jump initiation. Well, they will. And uh, that will, of course, naturally be a bit of a cliffhanger so that we get into the next sector exactly as we go. Let's 
have a look. Thank you very much for watching. If you like it, hit the like button. If you have comments, feed them in the comment section. If you have too money, much money on your bank account, you are welcome to support me on Patreon. There is a link in the description below. And of course, I'm guaranteed to see you on the next episode. Let's have a look at what we have to, for, to offer in the next episode. Until next time, take care and stay effective.